Hello and welcome to the solutions video for IXL 12 D17 Binomial Theorem 2. I apologize for the weird questions in the middle and the time. It turns out last time I had this open, I left it partially incomplete. So I just fitted a whole bunch of wrong answers to get the smart score down to zero rather than starting at 70. So next we want to use our binomial theorem to complete the expansion of r plus 2 to the fifth. So let's go to Pascal's triangle, which we had in our proper lesson for this. So we could either use Pascal's triangle to see that the second term has to have a coefficient of 5, or we can use our general term, which we see, I'll put it in the green box here, to see that the tkth term is nck x n minus k times y to the k. So we're going to have a single factor of 2 from this as well as the 5 from the binomial theorem multiplied together to make 10. Now this one we're going to have just that 3 squared. Now in our first one the w doesn't have a coefficient, so that'll be the 1. Now we're going to our third term. So the combinatorics, say our binomial term is 10, but we're also going to have two factors of this negative 2 here. So that's 10 times 4 to make 40. So here we just have to find the exponents of s, which are going to be in ascending order, going up one at a time, because we just have an s here, not s squared or s cubed. And we've got a v plus w squared. See, the w's come two at a time. That's why they're going two, four, six. The pattern will continue. Just as our v pattern, six, five, four, three, two, one, will continue. All right, so we have our first and last terms. So we're going to have s squared squared, which is s to the fourth, and t squared squared, which is t to the fourth. We're going to start with an x to the 6th. Now here, our exponent of x is going to be 4. We're going to multiply that by 2 squared, so we're going to have a 4 up front, but this is also to the power of 6. We're going to have 1, 6, and then a 15, and 4 times 15 is 60. So now this binomial theorem, we're going to have a negative 2q times p twice. So that's a negative 4pq. And we're going to end with a 4q squared. Okay, this is not allowing, sorry, 4q squared. Can't type today. All right, now our first term is going to be t to the 5. It's always our leading term. To the maximum exponent. Now because it's fifth, we're going to have five as the coefficient. There's no constants here that will interfere with that. We're going to have one less power of t and one more copy of u squared. Again, those patterns will continue. 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. Now we're expanding this to the fourth. So our terms. We're going to have alternating positive and negative. And with the 4, we're going to have 5 terms. So we'll start with a positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. Our last is going to be z to the 4. And our first is going to be 2y to the exponent 4. 2 to the 4 is 16. We're going to have a y to the 4. Now our normal terms, just for the binomial term, that's going to be 1. We're going to have a 4 on each end, and then the middle numbers would be 6. Our exponents of y, we're going to have a cubed here, a squared here, and just a y here. Our z's are going to go the other way. So 
So we're not quite done yet because we've only had the binomial terms here. We haven't included the twos. So this has to be multiplied by two. Actually, it's going to be multiplied by two cubed. So that is going to be that four is going to be multiplied by eight. And then the six is going to be multiplied by four. And this four by two. And this one r two t to the fourth makes a sixteen t to the four. We're going to end with u to the four, and we have to have five terms, so we need three spots in the middle. Our binomial coefficients are two r four six four. Again, multiply this by 2 cubed, so multiply this by 8, this by 2 squared, and this by 2. And then our t's are going to go down by 1 and our u's up by 1 because they each have exponent 1 in our original binomial. going to expand t minus 3 cubed. So we're going to have a t cubed. We're going to have four terms, so we'll need three more signs. We're going to end with the 3 cubed. We're going to have a 3 here and a 3 here for our binomial terms. Our t's are going to go down by 1 each time. And now we just need to multiply by our appropriate powers of negative 3. There we multiply by 9. Oh, no, hang on. Here we just do that negative 3 times 3 to get to 9. This is the one that gets multiplied by 9. Now those to the 5. 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. Those are our terms of the binomials. We're going to have a u to the 10. We're going to have alternating signs. And we'll count down two u's each time. OK, our signs failed to alternate here. There's our, our values of u. Now we just need to add v. And each term will have one more v than the previous term. So we're going to use the binomial theorem to expand this one, our 2w cubed is an 8w cubed. We're going to have four terms, so we need three signs. We're going to end with an x cubed. So each of these has to have a coefficient of 3 in it. Now we multiply by, in this case, 2 squared, so that's multiplying by 4 and by 2. And then we'll have a w squared x. and a wx squared. And eight. Oh, I put in the two, but I deleted the three. That's the issue. I had it and forgot to multiply the two together. All right. So we're going to start with a q to the eight, and with an r to the eight. And with the 4, we're going to have a 4, a 6, and a 4 in between. And our exponents of q and r will always add up to 8. As we go through.
So now this to the 6. So in each case, our exponents are going to add up to 12. Our coefficients, we're going to have 1, 6, 15, 15, 6, 1. Our signs are going to alternate. have to fill in our exponents. t to the 8, u to the 4, t to the 6, u to the 6, ah, I'm missing a term. between the 15s, I missed a term. It should be a 20. That's why it's not working out. So that is a 20. And now we have the plus 15. t to the 4, u to the 8. That's why our exponent pattern was not continuing. Minus 6 t squared, u to the 10, and we end with a positive. And we had six terms when I needed seven. Here we need four terms. So we'll have a 1, a 3, a 3, and a 1. Again, we're going to have alternating signs. So we are going to have initially both the 3 and the v are cubed. So that's 27 v cubed. Now the 3 is squared multiplied by this 3. Oh, actually I put the 3 on the wrong side of the plus sign. And finally this 3 is multiplied by just the 1 3. And then we end with a w cubed. So again, 1, 3, 3, 1. Again, we have a minus sign, so our signs are going to alternate. And our r's starts with 6, and we're going to count down by 2 each time. And then we're going to add 1s each time. So our total exponents are 6, 5, 4, 3. That is the pattern we expect. And again, this binomial theorem, expanding with 2, that's a 1, 2, 1. So that's s to the fourth plus 2s squared t. And then we have a t squared. And that finishes this skill.